guys, welcome back to Hang With Me. Today I'm going to show you my 5 favorite exercises for improving lock-off strength. But first, let's look at some basics. So what is a lock-off? It is a static move where a climber grabs a hold, pulls their arm into a bent position, and then locks it so that they can reach their free hand to a higher hold. There's a lot more to locking off than simply grabbing a hold and pulling hard. The move usually involves a lot of body tension and a high foot on the opposite side of the locked arm to pivot off of. I train lock-off strength once or twice a week because it helps me climb with control when needed, improves repeatability on precision moves, and even with clipping and resting on lead when the preferred straight arm stances aren't available. So now let's look at my top 5 exercises for improving lock-off strength. First is a variation of a well-known exercise which is the locked-off lat pull-down. To perform this exercise, pull both arms into a locked-off position and pull down one side by engaging your lat while keeping the other arm locked. Here I chose 90 degrees, but you can really choose any angle that you'd like. Then repeat on the opposite side without rest. Typically I do 4 sets of 4-6 to six reps, and I'm careful to alternate which side I start with on each set. Good form for this exercise includes going through a full range of motion without using momentum while squeezing your shoulder blades together. I prefer an explosive downward movement followed by a slow and controlled release. This exercise is one of my favorites because it is easy to track, simultaneously works both lock-off and pull strength, and translates well to climbing. The next exercise is locked-off toe taps on an overhung wall. Start by locking off on two holds and use your core to extend and precisely tap your toe on a hold of your choice. Then repeat several times on the same side moving up and down the wall. Ideally you would use a systems board that is symmetric to train each side evenly. This exercise is great for developing lock-off strength in a variety of positions, as well as working on core and foot placement precision. You can easily adjust the difficulty by altering the number of reps, grip spacing, and grip type. Although this exercise is less systematic than the first, it is highly sports specific. Exercise 3 is the classic one-arm pull-up negative. It's really simple. You just pull yourself up to the bar, let go of one hand, and lower slowly. I usually aim to lower uniformly in about 10 seconds. Honestly, the one-arm negative is a lot more difficult than it looks, especially if you maintain perfect form. To me, good form is lowering in control while engaging your core, using your legs to counterbalance, and locking your shoulder in place so that you don't rotate in a circle. This exercise is great because it is easy to track and adjust. If it is too easy, you can hold a weight in your free hand. Or if it is too hard, you can lower while holding an elastic band. Because these are extremely taxing, I usually aim for 2-3 sets of 1 rep per side with a 10 second lower. The fourth exercise is a modified Frenchie that I call locked off pull-ups. These are fairly simple to perform, just pull yourself into a wide grip pull-up position and lower to a predetermined angle and hold for 3-5 seconds. Then move to a different arm angle, hold and repeat. I usually aim for 4 sets of 6-8 angles. To me, good form for this exercise is lowering and raising with control and without using your legs to generate momentum. And remember to always squeeze your shoulder blades while hanging. I prefer a wide grip over a close grip pull-up because the close grip relies too much on the chest and biceps. This exercise is also easy to track and adjust. Similar to number 3, if it is too easy you can add weights on a harness, or if it is too difficult you can step in a suspended elastic band. Number 5 is really a group of exercises that focus on developing bicep strength. Here are three examples. The first is crossovers on a pegboard. The key here is to keep your core engaged and to use your legs to counterbalance your weight. The next example is locked off extensions on rings or sloper balls. Here you bring one arm into a locked off position, engage your core, counterbalance with your legs, and extend the opposite arm. I usually aim for 4 sets of 5 to 10 reps. The last example is my favorite, which is locked off bicep curls. The exercise is simple. You lock off one arm at a given angle and then raise and lower the opposite arm like a normal bicep curl. As always, be sure to lower in a controlled fashion and do not swing your back to generate momentum. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned how to better train lock off strength. Let me know in the comments section below if you would like to see more training videos. And as always, thanks for hanging with me.